So I was browsing the Roblox Discover page when all of a sudden I get a message on Discord. It said, I have a challenge for you. Complete these six secret Roblox games and I'll give you 10,000 Robux. I had no idea who this person was or why they were messaging me, but I was interested. So I took them up on their offer. And now it's my job to complete these six Roblox games. And I need to do things such as survive James Charles, walk to school in Ohio, and play the scariest game you've ever seen at the end. So immediately after joining the first game, I got greeted with this monstrosity. But little did I know I was in for a lot more. It turns out that this game was an obby course. So I made my way through some jumps and hopped on down to this makeup room. And if you die, you just get this weird death message. But after making my way through a couple more rooms, we had some makeup parkour and more makeup parkour and even more makeup parkour. I think you get my point. But then our next objective was to not get canceled by Twitter users. And I thought this would just be an impossible task. But overall, it was pretty easy. So I made my way to the end and took this car down to James Charles's head. And I ended up in this room. There's just so much weird stuff going on. I don't even know what this is. And what is going on outside? What is this? And that's why I decided I'm done with this game. So on Discord, I'm like, all right, I'm finished. What's the next game you got? And the person said, you've done well. But I'm afraid things go way harder from here on out. So here's your next game. So this next game has the goal of making it to school in Ohio. But there was a twist to it. Almost every single thing in the game can kill you. So after dying multiple times to a Roomba, I was eventually able to find a key and make it outside. And let me tell you, there was so much stuff to avoid. The grass can kill you. The road can kill you. Even the car out front can just kill you. But I was able to make my way over to the gas station and find the key inside. And I made my way to the door to unlock it. After getting outside, I died to some landmines a couple times and made my way across the street to see this thing. So I tried to make my way around it and grab the key. I then backtracked all the way and opened the door. And I made my way on top of this gas station to zipline my way across the street. But why is there Mr. Beast walking around? This is so weird, dude. But eventually I found my way inside of a mysterious house. And after taking an elevator to the top, I found a secret nether portal room that took me to a racetrack. Cue the Mario Kart music. After I finished, I went back through the nether portal and was in the house again. So I ended up walking outside and had to ride the bus. So I hopped on and this was probably the craziest bus ride I've ever taken. The signs were just collapsing onto me, but eventually I made it through to the backyard playground. I had to grab this key without dying, which is a really tough task, but I eventually did it and I had to get over these moving pole things to get on the skateboard. This skateboard took me over to a place with a turret hunting me down, but I was able to sneak my way past it and take an elevator to the top where I was able to zip line over and complete the game. So after I was done with whatever that was, I sent the person on Discord a message. Who are you? To find out my true identity, you have to continue on. There are so many questions I have, but I decided to continue and play Breaking Bad Tycoon. So I hopped on in and saw a ton of Breaking Bad RVs around. So I went to go claim my own and this happened. Chemistry. It is the study of what? Anyone? Time's up, Gramps. We know what you did, and now you're going to jail. Yeah. I am the danger. So now my goal was to get Walter White out of jail. And to do that, you have to steal Roblox games, I guess. And stealing these Roblox games nets you a little bit of money every time. And you can make stealing faster or upload your game faster. And you can even make more money over time. So using the money I got, I expanded out my RV into the wall. I then started hiring some people to make games for me. And if they fell asleep, you could just slap them awake or even hire someone to slap them awake, which I did. Capitalism at its finest. So when you steal Roblox games, you can build up fans. And when I got enough, I started expanding out my base and even getting my own car. But there's like nowhere to actually drive it. So I just decided to go back to work. I hired even more people to make games for me. And I ended up spending $20 on Robux to get the best workers in the entire game. I just had to, okay? Doing this allowed me to get a couple extra perks for my master plan. We now had a giant base of over 12 workers. And they just kept going and going and going. After getting over 3,000 fans, that was when I knew we were towards the end. So I bought the hazmat suit on the ground and then a germa head so now I decided to try out Windows 10 Simulator. And of course, the first thing I decided to do was delete System 32. Oh God, what did I do? So after fixing a couple things, I checked out a couple of the games like Pong, Music Editor, a chatbot that just didn't work. But then I went onto that dark website and I downloaded the free Robux generator. I thought it would work, but it just gave me a virus, I guess. Honestly, there was so much going on, but I thought we did enough, so let's head to the next game. So now it's time for Raise a Peter Griffin, which is a game where you feed Peter Griffin and upgrade your house with a bunch of random 
people. So this is based off Family Guy, but honestly, there are some really cursed parts to it. But this game was actually more fun than what I expected. To upgrade the house, you can call people and they'll show up to give you rewards. And you can buy a bunch of stuff online too. To get your money, you just have to spam click Peter Griffin. And you can also get it from other people in the house. You also get packages randomly delivered at your door and they just give you random items to upgrade your house. But you have to be careful buying food when you go across the street, especially being wary of the cars that could just run you over. I also noticed there's a game ending item here apparently. But anyway, if you forget to pay, this happens. <laughs> After getting a ton of money, we ended up buying a TV with this on the screen, and we just started getting a ton of random upgrades for the house. We got this weird microwave that's just incredibly loud, and things just started to get really weird, but we chugged on, making the house look pretty good. We called over a ton of people like Joe Swanson, we got Brian, Stewie, and the house really started to take shape. But then things started to get really weird, and after a couple days of buying crazier and crazier stuff, something strange started to happen. I walked back home and I saw Peter had a weird glow around him and his hunger was just off the charts. I started getting worried, but I had to see what would happen. I followed him around with the health bar going higher and higher until this happened. Well, now we know what that game ending item does. Raise of Peter is done. What is the last game we have? Your last game is surviving Michael Jackson in Area 51. Good luck, you'll need it. So here it is, our final game. We've been through so much along the way, from James Charles to Breaking Bad Tycoon. These have been some really weird games, but this one was the weirdest yet. Starting out, I got a glitched lobby because I was walking around with a bunch of people and nothing was appearing. I even spent some of my precious Robux and I thought I got scammed, but it turns out that I just had to relog. And that's when things started to get really creepy. Michael Jackson's were just chasing people all over the place, and I walked all around the map just trying to avoid them. So I decided to buy a rocket launcher and just start firing away, and I may have killed a few of my comrades in the process, but it was worth it because I killed a lot of Michael Jackson's. This was honestly one of the creepiest games I've ever seen. There are just a bunch of random hallways that lead to nowhere, people in these tube things. It's just so weird. Someone needs to make a creepy pasta out of this, I swear. But later on, I decided to spend even more Robux and buy admin permissions. And this was when things started to get really crazy. So I could use almost any command I wanted in the entire game. I could make myself thin and wide. I gave other people fly. I could even trap other people, which is just insane. So using the commands, I could just give everyone in the lobby fly. And this was so funny because the entire lobby is just flying around. So after using as many commands as I could, I tried looking around for an ending. I checked everywhere in every nook and cranny. I just could not find anything. There was a small toxic place, an elevator that could only be accessed through no clip and other weird places scattered around the map but i still just could not find anything so i considered this game done and we had finally completed all the games that this person had sent me so the person actually ended up sending me over the robux which is pretty cool but my question was who was this person and now that all the challenges were complete now was the time that i wanted to find out so i ended up sending them a message so they changed their profile pic and it was actually joe biden subscribe to roostro right now and watch his next video by clicking right here